Hey guys, how's it going out there in the beautiful land? Well, you're not all in sunny, sunny San Diego, are you? Some of you are, I don't know, around the world. You could be in Missouri or South Carolina because that's where Nick and Melinda used to live. But this is Melissa Curry, Dream Life Total Wellness, and I am coming to you today to share some simple, easy, delicious ways to cook sea bass, which can translate to any fish. And I'm gonna do um, mushrooms, with onions that we're gonna saute in advance and we're going to make a berry compote. So we're gonna dive right in. That's what one fish said to the other. Hey, do you wanna go for a swim? <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, super excited to be cooking this really delicious food. I don't know if a lot of you know us, my husband and I lost a bunch of weight. And when we were locked down on COVID, we both started to notice that a few pounds were starting to creep back on and latch the fat onto this midriff, which, no bueno, I had to work two years to get rid of it. So, we actually went back on and did a short mini program of eliminating fats and a, and a small version of HCG. So, the food I'm cooking today... You can use oil with the fish or you can choose to do it without it, like we're going to do today. So anyway, on my on my notes starting out, you know, I know it's Memorial Day weekend that's coming up. A lot of you may have plans to have six-foot gatherings or you're just going to get online and go into Facebook and have a group gathering and cook all together. But I wanted to wish you in advance a happy Memorial Day weekend. So... Um, I'm gonna start out, I, I'm preheating my skillet here on 350 degrees, okay? And I'm gonna start with an onion, okay? And uh, we're going, you know, there was, there was two onions and they were out romping around, playing, having a good time, and one of them accidentally rolled onto the road and it got ran over by a car. So the second onion, being the good onion friend that it is, called the ambulance and rode to the hospital with the hurt onion. So he sat in the waiting room and he was waiting and the doctor came out and the doctor says to the onion, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is, is your friend the onion is going to live. The bad news is he's gonna be a vegetable for the rest of his life. <laughs> Sorry. I find them online. Please forgive me in advance. So we're starting out. We've got our skillet preheated. I'm going to move the little lid back there. I'm going to take our beautiful onion, which is a fantastic anti-inflammatory food. Really adds nice flavor. And I'm just going to, I leave the hairy butt on, right, because that holds it together. So I leave the core on. And then I took and I just sliced it about a quarter of an inch and I put little slices down. And then you just take your knife simply and easily and you have your little onions ready to go in so i've got my onions prepared Let's set that aside and we're using a mataki mushroom i actually before i talk about the mushroom i'm going to throw this in so i i'm going to use instead of oil you could use butter you could use oil the choice is who the choice is yours right so we're going to take and I, i've got this preheated and i'm going to throw it in there and I'm going to take, and I learned this from my husband, that when we cook like this, that the more times you cook the onion down and add the broth to it, the more flavor that you will be able to impart into the broth. So today I just kind of, I'm going to do the onions and get those going, and then I'm going to toss the mushrooms in. So do you know, <laughs> this is so funny. So do you know why, what the fun, do you, why did the fungi leave the party? because there was a mushroom. <laughs> so, okay, this is, this is for the men out there. What would a mushroom car say? Shroom, shroom. <laughs> I know I'm funny. And at the end of all of my shows, you guys will know that I know I'm funny, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna take, I've got those going. I'm just going to beautifully I love these. These are such, if you're vegan or vegetarian or you want to make a taco, these are such a nice replacement for the um, traditional like shiitake or white mushroom. They have a really nice woody kind of flavor. Um, one of my favorite mushrooms to enjoy. So I've got that on, okay? And we've been, so you can see it's coming together quite nicely. You don't really need a lot of oil to get that flavor going, right? So... Um, I'm just going to let that cook again for about another minute or so. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and toss in my mushroom. Okay, so we've got those ready to go. You can even just break them apart if you want to, right? Just throw those in there, quite lovely. And I, you know me, I like to trim corners when I cut, cook. So I like to use garlic that's ready to go. If you could grab me that out of there. You could chop up your garlic if you wanted to. Totally up to you, you can use it fresh, okay? But um, today, yes, my handy dandy garlic that is one cube equals, okay, sorry. One cube equals a clove. So I'm gonna drop a couple of those in there and that is super duper easy. That's gonna add a lot of nice, beautiful flavor, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit more broth in. You can see that starting to come together a little bit. Oh, the aroma. Can't wait until they invent aroma. Now, those of you just joining, the only reason I'm using this is because I'm not using oil or butter because I'm thinning down. My husband and I are thinning down and we're trimming back. So if you're keto or you like to add the fat, add them, okay? Just do it like so. Oh, he wants me to live life with a little bit of spice. Okay, so we got that in there. Beautiful, nicely done. So I'm actually just gonna cover that for a moment and that's gonna cook really quickly. Then I'm going to throw on our dessert, okay? So I've got a little one quart here and um, some frozen berries, okay? I like to use shears, they just cut things quite nicely. And these are blueberries and raspberries and strawberries and I'm just gonna put them in there like so. Now, when I'm done with this, you guys are gonna be like, wow, Melissa, you really worked hard on that. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna add, I, we're not doing sugar. You could use sugar, honey, stevia. Um, when I'm cooking like this, I like to use the swerve. I think it's a, it adds a really nice kind of sweetness without all the extra added sugar. Okay, there we go. How much, you might ask. Well, the only spoon I could find is a half a teaspoon, so I'm probably gonna put maybe, there's one teaspoon, there's a half a teaspoon, so maybe two teaspoons. My, my phone battery just says, it's going low, low, so we'll go into low power mode. Then we got that on, I'm gonna turn that to medium and kind of let it do its little thing there. You could serve that over ice cream. If you wanted to turn that into a breakfast dish, you could use some oats and you could throw some oats in there and it turns into like uh, a cobbler, right? You could do brown sugar and butter, but I think it's just delicious like this. And I love to serve it over the top of vegan sugar-free ice cream when I am not eating, when I can eat fats, right? Oh, that looks perfect. So the, oh man, guys. Those are perfect and beautiful and ready to go. So now I'm going to take the fish. And this fish cooks really quickly. So we've been marinating it. Let me get it out of the fridge. And so this was a, a frozen sea bass. And we thawed it out and, and we marinated it with... With Meyer's lemon. Meyer's lemon. Teeny bit of mirin. Teeny bit of mirin. Garlic. Garlic. 21 seasonings. 21 seasonings. A little bit of onion powder. And a little onion powder. So garlic, 21 seasonings, onion powder and garlic powder are two of my favorites on fish, right? And we just simply have those going. And all I'm going to do, I'm actually going to scoop these out because I don't want them to continue to cook. You put your finger right over mine. That's okay. My husband got us plugged back in. There we go. So I'm just going to scoop those out because you can see... Those are beautiful, and I don't want them to continue to cook. Right, Scott? Correct. There we go. And then we're going to throw the fish in. So I've got it preheating. Again, you can use butter or oil. Okay, um, with chicken and meats, you don't need the butt this because chicken and meats have a lot of fat in them already, but fish is not like that. So I've got my fish here. These are beautiful sea bass. I can't wait to eat them. It's one of my favorite fish. It's nice and buttery. So I'm just simply gonna take that, put it in there like so, and all it really takes on each side is about a minute, really, right, Scott? And then turn slow. Scott is from Hawaii, so he's really one of the best cookers of fish that I know. He's a, he's a fisherman, Scott is. In fact, he won a trip with preferred credit to go fishing 
in, where did you guys go? Canada. Canada. And I tell you, they were catching fish. You know, it was this big. And there's pictures to prove it. Oh, he says it was this. I got to move back for that one. This big. 41 inches. 41 inches. That's a big fish. Man, I bet that took a lot of work to get that fish in. Do you know, I don't have any fish jokes. But we've got our fish going on here quite... It's looking quite nice. It's been on for not even a minute. You can kind of see it as we're going along. The key thing with people and fish when they cook it is they actually tend to um, overcook it. I don't think it needs more broth, dear. Okay, they tend to overcook it. Uh, so that's, the you know, if you take fish off a little bit before it's done, that's where you get that nice flakiness. If you overcook it, that's when it kind of gets that, it's not as tender and flaky, right? So this with fish with salad master, what I like is it is it just it keeps the moisture inside of it. Um, I don't think it's quite ready yet. Scott says it is. So you know he's the expert fish cooker. So I'm gonna follow. Ex oh, that's beautiful, man. You guys, that looks stunning. I gotta tell you, I did tempeh in here the other night. I'll show you guys how to do it. And um, oh, mushrooms on the the tempeh cooked so fast I didn't have to change anything so I'm just gonna scoop the mushrooms on top of that fish like so you guys can see that and I'm just gonna cover it right dear yep. I'm just gonna cover it it's at 350 degrees and I'm gonna put a little bit more broth in okay and just around the sides that's probably enough just to get that little valve going so really Look at my arm. Did you guys see that? I'm a magician. Ready? One, two, three. Abra, cadabra. Look, no hands. <laughs> All right, so I've got my sea bass going on. I've got my little vegetables over here. Uh, my, my, my fruit berry compote. And pretty much, I'm done. So we could just hang out and talk and chat and wait. Um, I am going to finish it. I'm not going to put it on now with some fresh basil. I don't know if you guys saw my tower garden out there. I went live on my personal page. But we've got so much, like, greens and kale and tomatoes and squash. I mean, in 14 days, it started out like nothing, and it looks this big already. But this basil, what I'm going to do to finish it off at the end, I don't want it to overcook too much, is I'm just going to take, I love my shears, I'm going to use a knife, but I'm just going to take and cut that up in some beautiful little strips. Okay? And at the end, I'll top it with the basil. So that is pretty much it for, I lost a breaker there, for our cooking today. Um, this is Melissa Curry, Dream Life Total Wellness, preparing to sign off. I, you know, I'm, I think this weekend what we'll do is we'll go live with a class on the grill because we just got a grill and we've been using it and I did some shrimp the other day and we're gonna go out and get some lobster tails and I'll show you how to efficiently cook those and have them be beautiful and juicy and plump and we'll uh, take, and the other day we grilled some cauliflower steak. Now I know grills are often higher heat so we always wanna make sure that we're getting our raw vegetables because if we're cooking at too high of a heat like on a grill, even though the flavor is amazing, the, um, the, the nutrient density is, is lowered. So if you're doing something like that, right, instead of using uh, equipment that keeps all the nutrition in, then make sure you're getting your raw fruits and vegetables, like a big salad to go along with it. So that is me, Melissa Curry, Dream Life Total Wellness, Shh, signing out. I watched, okay, now this is funny, um, before I go. I watched a, I think, how old is, is Sergio and Monica's child, little girl? five-year-old, six-year-old, six-year-old, and she did this video, and she goes, make sure that you hit the button at the top, and you share me with your friends, and you like me, because that'll increase my viewers. This is, that's it. You want to see one last look before I go? I bet you do. Oh, wow, that's done. I would say that that's done. You guys see that? Let me see the flakiness of it. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna turn it off and let it sit for a minute. And I'll send you guys a picture at the end so you can enjoy it. Okay, bye for now.